Dear Professor Günther, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, I am delighted to address you at the Congress of the European Federation of Orthopedics and Traumatology. I am even more delighted to learn that you care for your patients and for our planet, and rightly so. The coronavirus pandemic has been a true eye-opener. It has been a powerful reminder that the health of our citizens and the health of our planet are interconnected. Sustainability is how we care for our limited resources also in the medical world. In the city of Wuhan, where the coronavirus was detected first, Chinese authorities had to build a new medical waste plant. Its purpose was to handle a daily peak of 270 tons of medical waste. That is twice as heavy as the Statue of Liberty every day. Well, a public health emergency is one thing, but the example reflects a larger problem. It is estimated that over three quarters of medical waste is non-hazardous, it could be recycled, but in fact very little is recycled, including in Europe, and this has to change. As you know, the European Union has laid the foundation for the European Green Deal, a change towards sustainable production and sustainable consumption with its ambition for net zero pollution, with an action plan for the circular economy and strategies for more sustainable use of chemicals or clean energy and CO2 friendly housing, just to name a few. The task is huge. And some projects might sound abstract, but at its core, the European Green Deal is very concrete. It is about moving forward together and getting millions of people across Europe to play their part every day. I know that you are used to work under extremely high pressure. But today, at this Congress, you take your precious time to reflect how your profession can contribute to the change. You meet and discuss with industry and medical supply to work on smart solutions, to avoid unnecessary waste, like sterile packaging that is sustainable, or machines that are remanufactured, or energy efficient hospitals you are discussing a shift towards preventive value-based care. And through wonderful examples like yours, positive change is happening in Europe. And this is another powerful story for the European Green Deal. I would like to thank Effort for the work you are doing, for your work to save people and the planet but also for your long-standing commitment to supporting high medical standards of training and education across Europe. I warmly congratulate Effort to its 30-year birthday. I wish you a successful Congress and I thank you for your attention.